has declared a Westland war for Lord Donald's claim on Stony Sept. Uh, okay, it's not a big deal, only Stony Sept. It's not a pirate's life for me. Sailing the seas is boring. You should do something. We should have a duel. Are you kidding me? I'll read a book. If I duel, I feel like that's not a good idea. I feel like that's just asking for trouble. So I'll read a book. I brought the following books with me. The Lusty Tyrosian Maid. Naval Signals and Etiquette. Valerian for Dummies. Review the customer's accounts for last year. Ooh, okay. So two steward. An event, an event, and more fertility and an event. Huh. Well, I guess we need money. So I, I, I guess I'd probably look at... I would like to do Valerian for Dummies. That would be a good one. But I feel like I should probably review my accounts due to the fact that we spent loads of money. I need to get some money back. So maybe we should review our account so when I get back we can pay it all off. Let's do that. <laughs> My guy's thinking ahead. He's like, you know when I get back I'm going to have to pay off all this bloody loan. Luckily it's five years so I'm, t I'm 8253. Need to wait for there. Not much is really happening. Now, let's see what happened to Silverhall. In a, I'll do that in a second. Pirates sighted. Ship with pirates coming to get us. Eye patches and parrots closing in on us. Attempt to fight them using your small transport ship. We'd get absolutely destroyed. Our ship would have no chance. 5% chance you succeed. Okay. 20% chance of wounded. Maybe I should never have come on this trip. 75% chance we die. Oh Jesus, okay. Attempt to board him and slay the crew. That would be uh, more appealing because he's much more of a warrior. Um, attempt to sail away and escape. 75% chance you fail. Oh, shite. Okay, this is not good. 25% chance of you succeed. So I have a 25% chance of succeeding if I escape. Uh, okay, so they're basically the same. What happens if we fail though? Do we just die? This is one he doesn't really tell you. Because if we fight and we fail, I'd get the trait wounded. Um, so it'd be better to go for that one rather than fighting. But I think I'm going to attempt to board and slay them because my guy with me is a warrior. So yeah. A fight with the pirates begin. You and your companion draw swords. I will fight this pirate. My companion will fight this pirate. Yes. Please fight him. <laughs> Captain Jack... Um, sorry, I thought I said Captain Jack Sparrow. Um, Captain Spack Jarrow. It's obviously a play on him. I can't see him, so I don't know how good he is. So my companion would definitely fight him. This is what I brought him for. My companion fought bravely against the pirates. No! But alas, he died. The pirates defeated. The pirates' threat has been dealt with. A new companion on your way. I thought I said he died. Okay. He won. Sorry, that, that was me being stupid. Shiver me timbers. Arr. Storm of waters. I don't like this anymore. I want to go home. <laughs> this is just this is way too dangerous. I need way more money. Um, storms are common this time of year. So it wasn't entirely unexpected to be caught amidst one. But this was different. It rose suddenly and took your ship with a vengeance. The vessel groaned in protest as it was violently rocked back and forth by the waves, crew members being flung like ragdolls from the fury of the sea. A loud crack rips through the wailing of the storm, and you look up to see the centre most toppling down upon your head, knocking you out. Oh shit. You yell generic sailing instructions. Oh god, okay, this is bad. Let's check out Silverhall. She's still alive, and she's not ill anymore. I might have to, I might have to sort her out. Like I said, I could always let's see if she let's see if he would accept a marriage. You never know because she's legitimized. He might not. Betrothal, obviously. They would accept. That is interesting. Not for him though. So it, ha it would have to be my son. Okay. Rebel leader. Okay. 
Okay, so it looks like Silverhall could be in the bag for us. Oh, thank God. Okay, that's good. Is my friend alive, though? You awaken with a start, coughing violently, face down in the sand with the surf lapping at your legs. You get to your knees and take stock of the area around you. No one else seems to be there. You realise with grown panic. Are you the sole survivor? Wait, no, there's a body washing up. On shore, it's your companion! But they're unconscious. Okay, at least he's safe, that's good. You run over and kick them in the side. Get up, you lazy wetch. Oh, Jesus, so much bloody going on. Uh. You storm through the jungle with your companion trailing behind you, struggling to keep up. You mutter um, continually about the cruelty of the inn ruining your adventure. Complain about the heat in the damnable jungle and about how the day just keeps getting worse. So caught up in your own woes, you almost miss your companion's sudden cry for help. You glance back to see a large snake wrapping itself around your companion's leg as they lay prone on the ground. Oh, sh oh my god, okay. You turn back around and sprint to your companion's side to save the kind trait. To save the what? To save the what? To, um, to save him? Is that what I was going to say? You laugh mockingly at your companion struggling, mightily and pretend. It doesn't tell me all the details. What? <laughs> and pretend what? You take timid swipes at the snake causing it to attack wildly. Oh Jesus. I want to save him. But I feel this is bad. And like I say, it's there because I have the kind trait. So it makes sense for me to do it. On a quest overseas. That is so cool. I love I love this. Um, if they had more stuff like this in this mod, that would be amazing. They probably won't, but it's nice that they at least have one. I really want to help him. He did He did save me from the pirates. You know, he did... Oh my, he could have died. And I am kind. But... I'm just... You manage to free your companion from the jaws of the snake, and you carry them to a nearby cave. You notice once inside the cave walls are dark and square. It seems like a man-made corridor. Oh, thank God we're safe. Okay. Got my companion. I'm fine. It's all good. I will continue onwards. Okay, there seems to be three different events that could happen. Oh, Jesus. The riddle. A move along the corridor depicts near a tree by the river, there's a hole in the ground. One crows and four proud eagles fly around and around. A lone direwolf appears in the, wet, in the veil of the night, while all eagles were killed by a dog in a terrible fight. Below each section of the mural, the following text appears. I got time to kill, sly looks in corridor, without a plan of yours. A black bag sings on Bluebird Hill, thanks to the call of the wild, wise men's child. What the? This seems important. I'll look at it closely before proceeding. Okay, I'm, I'm assuming I have to look at this. This is important, so I'm going to take a couple of seconds to get used to it. Uh, near a tree by a river, there's a hole in the ground. Okay, near a tree by the river, there's a hole in the ground. One crows and four proud eagles fly around and around. So eagles are the sigil of House Aaron. Maybe maybe that's something to do with it. Because a direwolf is House Stark. Lundorf appears in the Vale of the Night, while all eagles were killed by a dog in a terrible fight. So the eagles are killed by a dog, which maybe is a direwolf? I mean, it's not. It's a wolf, not a dog. But I'm not sure. So maybe it's something like what's left, the crow, I guess? I'm not sure what this bit's about, though. Sly looks in corridor. Without a plan of yours, a black rig sings on Bluebird Hill. Oh, God, I really don't want to... <laughs> I'm really not wanting to click on, because I feel like I've completely missed what this is about. The riddle. How is this a riddle? Um, below each section. Near tree by there's a hole in the ground. Okay, I thought maybe it was like one to one or that one. I bet if I brought the old man, <coughs> I bet if I brought the old man, the old man would probably know. Okay, I'm just gonna. Oh damn. Oh, hey, it's Skyrim. Hey, I remember these. These are Skyrim. Okay, so an eagle. I know something to do with the eagle then. A stone door closes behind you. In front of you there's a lever with three rotating pillars. 
each of those four pictures that look surprisingly similar to the mural you looked at in the corridor. A loud mechanical screeching noise begins to fill the room. With such tenacity, it seems to disturb your equilibrium. It's quite painful. Rotate pillar one. Displays an eagle. Okay. There's a hole in the ground. Um, I'm just trying to think. Was it four eagles? Die in a fight. Okay, let's see what happens if I rotate that one. Okay, so there's a crow. Okay, so we've got a crow. Huh. But. I'm not sure. Let's click that one. Okay, let's do three again. Is it Die Wolf next? Displays a dog. Okay, so there's a dog. What happens if I click it again? And we have a Die Wolf. So am I meant to kill, am I meant to, let's see what happens if I go further. So it goes back to an eagle. Okay, I'm thinking the eagles were killed by a dog. So we have to go dire wolf, crow, eagle, dog. Has to be, you know, has to be a dog. And this can be a dire wolf. Oh, bollocks, I hit the wrong one, didn't I? Because it keeps changing them around. I wasn't even paying attention. Okay. Okay, the first one, I think it should be a crow. So I'll go to that. Okay, we've got a crow. Okay, the second one should be a dire wolf. And the third one should be a dog. There we go. I'm thinking this. I'm probably completely wrong. We all die. Come on. Oh, maximum pain. Lever um, the lever resets and you hear a faint clicking of cogs that get louder and louder. The room shakes and blood begins to trickle from your eyes, nose and ears. Your body is telling you that you are in pain. The pain stops and the wall behind the lever rolls open. Oh god, was that good or bad? If it opened... The journey's end. There's a generic looking treasure room with a giant chest in the middle, surrounded by gold. You move towards it as you can see a blade made of valerian steel. Okay. Your companion grabs you by the arm and says, Wait, I need to talk to you. Listen to the companion. Take the valerian steel sword from the treasure chest. Um. Why is it... Why has it got him upon it? Okay. Should I listen to him? Huh. So the only thing that gets me is that he is uh, ambitious, arbitrary, but he's honest. He is honest. So whatever he has to tell me is probably important. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. Because that sort of, if I say to take it, that makes me think that if I take it, something bad will happen, like it's a curse or something. Um, I'm going to listen to him. While on the boat together, I remember our duel on the boat. We didn't have a duel on the boat. <laughs> we, we never had a duel on the boat. You read books instead of training. Oh my god, no! No! He dislikes you because of this. Oh shit. Oh no. When pirates attack, I remember that your companion continues. We fought bravely and I was unscathed. Thinks finally. Oh, thank god. When we arrived on the island, I remember that you... I felt you did not care about my life. What? How? I couldn't choose something different. Oh my god, thank god. Ah, friends forever. Oh my god. This bloody event scared the shit out of me because I think it's always going to be something terrible. Because you get those ones that you know when you go to a tournament or you're in a duel, it'll just suddenly come up, you're dead. So I always think it's going to be something horrible. Uh, Sir Fash Binder of Casimir falls to knees and swears an oath of fealty from this day to the end of days. That's great, we also get him as well. Rise, my friend. We will be friends forever. Mission accomplished. You walk over to the treasure chest and take out the sword. Your journey has been a success. I am the greatest. Has fulfilled the ambition to attain a Valerian steel sword. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's not Red Rain, but we, I mean, oh, it's not Red Rain, but you know, it's better than nothing. And we can try and get Red Rain as well. So we could have two Valerian steel swords. Let's see. 
Ooh. It's just called Valerian Steel Sword. Damn it. Valerian Steel is a magical alloy invented in Valeria. Okay, I know you can get named ones, I think. So I think maybe I got the worst one. Which is a shame. But it's better than nothing. I'm going to name it myself. What should I name it? Um... Hmm, I guess I think about wanting to name it. I'm still on my journey, I'll wait till I get back. Iron Throne, okay, Anchor War. Interestingly, we still haven't taken back the North. This North is still independent. What is going on here? Oh, okay, it's because of the wars. But yeah, the North is still independent. King Donor of the North, okay. And I have a few things to sort out. Oh, where am I going? Okay, my son needs a guardian. Oh my god, perfect guy to teach my son would be the new guy I've got. The new guy I've got is actually pretty awesome, so I'm actually going to wait until we get back. Pick an ambition. Um, see how it has on the Iron Throne, fall in love, improve learning, improve intrigue. Um, become exalted among men. That would probably be quite a good one for us. I mean, he's really young. He's just gone on a quest to get a Valerian Steel Sword. He wants to gain the Westerlands. So that's probably quite good. But have five children might be quite good. Now we'll come, become exalted among men. Am I back yet, actually? I'm still on the quest. Hopefully I'll get back soon so then I can train my son from that guy. Okay. The Riverlands is still at war with itself. Ah, what is this? Ooh. Oh, she knows about my plot to fabricate a claim on the Westlands. Uh, hmm. What happens if I decline? She'll probably, she'll probably put me in prison. I'll accept for now. She could have put me in prison. Um, if I'd said no, she probably would have put me in prison. It's not really what I want at the moment. We can find other ways to get the Westlands.